Hi, it's Craig from Lemar UK. Thought we'd just do a little video to show you what's involved with travelling around the country with the Tour Series. We're the official helmet sponsor this year, so we're attending every single round. Um, and you see it on TV, but you probably don't get to see everything that's involved in actually putting the racing on and the events and everything. So we've already been to Motherwell and Aberdeen this week. Aberdeen was particularly great, there was a great attendance there. Uh, and we're now travelling to Durham for round four, so I left Aberdeen about an hour ago. There's still about another four hours driving to go, so it's a long way between uh, round three and round four. Uh, but when we get there, we'll, uh, we'll kind of show you what we do to get Lee Mars presence and also show you a bit about what goes on with actually getting everything ready for the racing for the professionals in the evening. So I have arrived at my destination where I'm staying tonight. It's uh, in the countryside outside Durham. So it uh, looks a nice place. So let's go inside and have a look what it's like. I'm at the Three Horseshoes Inn just outside Durham, which is absolutely lovely. It is, uh, see if I can just focus in on that. There you go. So it's right in the countryside, just outside Durham, and uh, it's absolutely lovely. So this is my third, my third hotel in what four days? Four days, yeah. So get unpacked and then uh, think about what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening. Right. So it's what half past five now. I've uh, got everything ready for tomorrow. Caught up on all my emails and what have you. So, I'm gonna go and have a little quick ride before getting something to eat a bit later. So, it's uh, about 10 o'clock at night. It's been a long day. Uh, it was a long day traveling from Aberdeen. And uh, my bike ride this evening ended up being about uh, 15 miles longer than I intended it to be after I got lost. Uh, obviously never ridden around here before, so uh, yeah, I ended up going a lot further than I originally had planned to. Uh, I've been downstairs and had a little bite to eat, which was lovely. Really nice food, really nice place. This, I'll definitely come and stay here again. <clears throat> prepped everything for the morning, car machines on charge, got everything cleaned and ready to go. Uh, I've brought the bike up into the room, as you do. Always got to look after your bike, haven't you? Uh, so the weather forecast tomorrow is actually looking like it might be rain. Uh, so that'll be the first time this week we've had glorious weather. Uh, so that does complicate things quite a lot, but... Uh, We'll deal with that tomorrow as and when and, and sort of see what we've got when we open the curtains in the morning. But uh, right now I'm going to I'm gonna have an early one, get some sleep ready for uh, round four uh, in Durham tomorrow. So I'll see you then. And it has been raining overnight, so and it looks very grey and a little bit overcast. So looks like the weather forecast is right, and we could get. So one of the first things to do is to have a look at the official program and have a look at the circuit. So we've got Durham here, and then just have a look exactly to where the tall village is. And then work that out on Google Maps to make sure that you arrive at the circuit at the right place. Because with them closing all the roads off, if you basically come at the wrong end, you can just spend half an hour going around in circles uh, trying to get to the right place with just roads being closed all the time. So, so I've already worked that out. Tour village is right next to the pits and the hospital. Well, 
I've got to say, if you're coming to Durham, I highly recommend the Three Horseshoes Inn. Absolutely fantastic. Rooms fantastic, food fantastic, and really well priced. So I think it's only fair we give them a little shout out. Right, let's get down to the circuit. Arrived and morning. Morning. You're right. Yeah. Nope. No, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a little video about the date at all series. We're just going to wait. Uh, just going to move these couple of bands here, and then we'll get you in the, the courtyard there. Right. Okay. Where you're gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. Make right. it easy to get the van in there. Yeah. 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 Cool. So, yeah. Sit tight for a all few right. minutes. All right. All right, mate. Right, I've got the van in position, so I'm really happy with where we're situated. First people walking into the tall village, they'll see us pretty much first. Uh, first thing that they'll see as they come in. I've actually wound the awning out. I wouldn't normally do that, but because of the forecast and the rain, I want to try and create a dry area underneath when we get the product out later. So just a little bit of info about our Limar van. Everyone loves the van, gets a lot of attention, which is what we wanted. But we've got a very high-end performance product with the Air Revolution helmets so the van needed to replicate that within the brand image so we've not spared any expense on it and uh, we have people wanting to take the photographs in front of it and everything so it certainly uh, gets attention and like I say creates the right brand image of what we're looking for for Limar and its products so it's 9.30 now the racing doesn't start till probably about half one two o'clock this afternoon so I'll go off now and have a coffee, get a bit of work done, and then we'll come back and set everything up uh, a bit later on. So here's the guys burying out the circuit. Cheers. So those guys basically just going around the whole circuit, putting the barriers up. So I've had a little walk out onto the course, which I always like to do. And this Durham course is really, really different to everything else I've seen so far on the series. So you come down this hill, which is obviously going to be pretty fast. And then you've got Durham Castle in the background, looking fantastic. And then you come down to what is commonly known as Suicide Corner, which is why they put all these hay bales on the corner. And then you turn 90 degrees straight onto a cobble section which at the minute is soaking wet and like ice and they head up there so once you've turned right at suicide corner and hit this cobble section you then hit this really steep hello so it's me. Well, we'll have a quick interview with you, Mick. Yeah. So this circuit, I mean, I've not been here before, but this one seems to be the most brutal. It is the most brutal, yeah. Yeah. And um, it probably is conducive to the biggest shake-up in the whole series. Because yeah. if you can survive in the lead here, yeah, yeah. you can virtually survive the rest of it. Yeah, and if the rain persists tonight and these cobbles stay wet, it's going to be... Well, they have to be... climb this sitting in the saddle. That's the other, because there's yeah, an adverse yeah. camber coming into what we call Death Corner. Yeah, or oh, Suicide Corner, I've been told yeah. it's called. Well, whatever title. <laughs> Both titles aren't particularly nice, but anyway. No, and then there's a, a sharp right turn, and if it's wet, they have to stay in the saddle. So yeah, they've got yeah. to have the gearing right. Yeah. But the bikes, some of the bikes have got disc brakes now, so they, they come down, you'll hear them screeching as they come into that corner. Yeah, there's yeah. Adverse camber. Yeah sharp right onto cobbles and then you've got this steep descent and if you look up here if you just point the camera up here you'll see there's a very thin strip of tarmac with the dotted line on okay about a, th a third of the way in so they all the right. fight for that do they they all fight for that and they all right. go up on that thin strip of tarmac yeah yeah i mean this gradient must be it's what 15 to 20 percent gradient yeah. i'd say i would say yeah between 15 and 20 percent yeah right okay well it should make for some great racing right on let's hope that it doesn't is, the essential thing is you'll need a Limar helmet. Of course. That's definitely coming into that. Of corner. course. Yeah, everyone just needs just to protect yourself. Everyone from, needs a Limar helmet. Don't they? <laughs> Cheers, Mick. See you later. So those of you who don't know, that's Mick Bennett. He runs the whole series and the uh, Tour of Britain and the NEC Cycle Show as well. So he does a lot for 
the cycling racing scene and the cycling industry as well. So, so yeah, I mean, this is certainly a, a brutal part of the circuit, and uh, I'm glad that I'm not racing it, to be honest, because uh, I wouldn't be able to get up here too many times in a row. So it's midday now, just walking back to the uh, finishing straight. Some of the Vitus team there just walking the course. So always good to see the Lemar branded on the home straight and everything is absolutely pretty much finished now. All the gantry, the finish line's up. So going to get back to the van, start getting things set up and then uh, the racing will start in probably two hours time, something like that. And uh, first we sort of junior races, local club races and stuff like that. And then obviously the elite men and women go off this evening from about half five. So John had a mechanical as he came onto that last uh, climb on the cobbles. 
So I'm really gutted for him, really, because he was definitely, he was odds on to win that. He was going to win it, I'm sure. Uh, he's such a strong rider. Uh, but overall, it's been a great round. Uh, the girls won, took the team prize, and Ribble had a really strong showing in the race tonight. They had three riders, really well placed. So, uh, so that's Durham all done and dusted. We now pack up, got about a two and a half hour drive home, and then we do it all again next week when we go to Birkenhead, uh, Salisbury, and then the final one in Brooklands. So I uh, hope this video has given you a bit of an idea of everything that's involved with uh, putting on an event like this. And uh, it's a fantastic series. We're really proud to be involved with it. And uh, hopefully the weather will stay good for three rounds next week. So you can catch all of the racing on ITV4. Uh, we're going to be putting more stuff on our new YouTube channel. So please subscribe to our channel if you uh, want to be kept up to date with what we're doing at Lima. We'll be doing product reviews, stuff on helmets, what our teams are doing. Uh, all kinds of good stuff, so uh, so yeah, please subscribe.